Now, I'm not opposed to using five minute grits, but I would never cook a grit for five minutes. Even five minute grits, I'll cook for 20 or 30 minutes. And we've started using, y'all ever eat stone ground grits? Have y'all found stone ground grits? Do y'all like those? I like stone ground grits too. It's, um, you know what's so funny is that everything that we eat in the South is being adapted and taken and packaged and sold in faraway places like shrimp and grits. Isn't that funny? Like when I'm in New York and I see shrimp and grits on a menu, they're like $28. And it's traditionally a poor man's lunch in the South because it's just grits and a little bit of shrimp and you make a little bit of roux and you season it with some lemon and it's a beautiful, elegant looking simple dish that I love to prepare for company that comes over. We're having shrimp and grits, that's a great dish. And so now a stone ground grit is a derivative of some kind of <clears throat> $20 grit probably that somebody sells. But I do like them because they're just, uh, I'm all about textures and colors. That's what I really like most about my food. And that's why I love to cook. So I'll take a five minute grit or whatever it is and I'll cook it for about 30 minutes. And any time it starts to tighten up, instead of cutting it with more water, I cut it with heavy cream, real heavy cream, which makes it good. Is this heavy cream, y'all? So anytime your grits get a little bit tighter, just add some heavy cream. It's so good. And I don't eat this every single day, but when you eat grits, why not just have the best <laughs> daggum grit you can make? <laughs> and there's, there's nothing wrong with this pot of griots. That's perfectly fine. Nope, it's all good for you. We got fresh local stuff in there. We've got some beef in there. I didn't mean there. good for you. I just mean it's not, it's okay. Oh, yeah. It's we okay. didn't ruin it. No, part of the fun is for you is making fun of me and my roux, but I didn't do anything that's going to ruin that pot. I probably could have made a little bit more. Mm -mm. I think it's good. Yeah, it'll tighten up. This, yeah, this has got to cook down for a long time. That mm -hmm. meat would be tougher than my shoes if you ate it now. So that's, but <laughs> well, it would also be not cooked completely too. So you wouldn't <laughs> eat it right now. <laughs> Through the magic of stage work and thanks to the fantastic students that we have here on stage, we've got a pot that's ready. It's just, and I'm gonna fix y'all some. That's what. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how good this looks. Yeah. That does look good. 